Welcome back to another episode of Coach's Corner. I'm junior videographer Peter Bridgley sitting down with Girls Across Head Coach Mary Lehman. How are you doing today, Coach? Great. Great. Thank you. All right. Let's jump right in. How do you feel your girls have rebounded from the lost season last spring? Uh, they have rebounded really well. Um, in fact, I would say that they haven't missed a beat. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know that they all are fully aware of what they've lost. And in if anything, it's probably helped them to really appreciate um, what we get to do this season, mm -hmm. and so we are going to capitalize on every moment that we have. All right. With the clear departure of many offensive powers last spring, what people have, or which people have stepped up really to fill those shoes? Um, we've actually had quite a few. Um, Emma Grace Hepler is a junior this year, and she's been outstanding. Um, we also have a lot of our seniors, Jess um, uh, DeLuca and Jack Broderick, um, Maggie Spratlin, um, of course, our, our uh, uh, defense, over there, she's defense, but our goalie, Caitlin Donovan, has been doing really, really well. Um, just across the board, we have girls on the offensive side that have all really worked together quite well, and they are very unselfish players. So at any given moment, if any one of them happens to have possession of the ball, it's you know, yep. a, a good, good option for us. So. Okay. Um, how are you looking to build off the success from the shortened COVID season and also the previous state championship season? Um, wait, ask that question again. How are you looking to build off the success of your shortened COVID season last year and the state championship season before? Got you. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, we're just going to basically pick up from where we left off. Mm -hmm. um, we are doing our very best to, you know, not really focus so much on what we lost last season. Mm -hmm and just truly focus on this is where we are now, and we need to push forward and build on what we have. All right, so you've got nine seniors on your team this season, which is quite a few. How important is it for the senior leadership on your team this season, your COVID season, and your state championship seasons? It's definitely one of our largest leadership of seniors that we've ever had, mm -hmm. which is fantastic because Every one of them has a very unique quality that they add to our team, and especially in, in the process of leadership. Um, but what's also really cool is not only do we have fantastic seniors as leadership, we have other grade levels. We have a tremendous number of juniors that have stepped up and shown leadership. Um, sophomores, we, I mean, it's amazing mm -hmm. the, the amount of ownership that every one of our girls takes on the field and then shares it amongst their team. So. All right. Eight new faces on varsity this season. A lot of new girls. What does that mean for your team and how are they helping this year? Uh, it's been fantastic. We are extremely fortunate that we are constantly seeing young talent continually come through and um, they are developing so nicely and very quickly, which is what we like to see. And, um, you know, we, that's why we tell girls if they've never picked up a stick before, you know, they're amazed how quickly they can learn this sport mm -hmm. and develop from it. And um, I don't think I can think of a single child that has come in to, to try out for lacrosse who hasn't absolutely fell in love with it. So it's, it's been great. So on Saturday, you faced off against a very talented West Forsyth squad. What you tweeted that afternoon, I think, about baselines, like you learned a lot from that game. What are the baselines and how are you guys looking to go up from there? Um, I wanted to make sure that the girls see that, you know, everything starts at a baseline. Every, every season starts at a baseline. And from that, that's how we determine where do we go from here? What do we improve on? What do we capitalize on? What do we continue to build off of? Um, and, and to me, I saw that somewhere else. I, I saw a tweet that re referred to a baseline, but it was something actually for like a, like for work or professional or something to that effect. But anyway, I used that and I thought, this is exactly what we need. We need to build off of our baseline and know that where we're starting now is not where we will end up. Got it. And that's the mindset we have to have, that if this is where we're starting, our goal is to get as far up to that point as mm -hmm. we can and, so, and, and develop goals off of the baseline. Okay. Um, looking forward to Wednesday's game against Walton, who 
multiple state championship appearances, very like high performing in 7A, lots of talented girls. What changes are you looking to make from Saturday's game to Wednesday? Um, we have a lot of things that we're going to work on fundamentally. Um, it, it's, it's the development of the very fundamental skills like simple things, ground ball pickups, um, you know, making sure that we are including the spacing on the field and our offensive end of, of, of things, you know, making sure that we're not all clumped in in one section, that we spread ourselves out. Um, just very fundamental skills. Mm -hmm. um, the girls have picked up very quickly on our sets and positioning wise where they're supposed to be when and who we're depending on to do certain skills um, or draw certain defenders in a certain direction, whatever the case may be. Um, but it's truly just going to come down to fundamentals. We're just going to build off of that and make sure that we kind of tighten up those skills a little bit. All right, that's all we have for today. You can check out the Lady Panthers back at home, I think, March 22nd versus Harrison. Sounds correct, yes. Yep. And that's all we have for today. Any other sports needs you can find on the Prowler, but head coach Mary Lehman, junior Peter Bridgley, that's all we have for today. All right.